I would tip their boxes over so that they don't keep hiding in them so they enjoy a little bit of sun and shade. They're hanging close to each other because this is a brand new world. She's been here three weeks but this is their first outdoor time together. They've been in the runabouts indoors. They got to stay out here because we don't have a cover on this right now. And we have resident uh, hawks. So they'd be nice little tidbits. Yeah, I flipped the boxes over. I have tunnels and pig loos and stuff, but for right now we're getting disposables. Because they're going to chew on them and that's fun. Zoe so was a little um, hesitant to come out from out of the boxes, so I had to tip them. And Amelia has got the boldness of youth. Yeah, there's bugs flying around. I don't think there's any mosquitoes to bite her yet. She's going to clean herself. She's cleaning her little face. Oh, yeah. She goes, I'm all dirty now. But now you're eating. Oh, well, there's a little face-to-face -face confrontation. Nothing major. They have this whole area here of grass. This goes on for, well, I don't know. It's, it's a pretty big runabout. And, of course, they want the same area of grass. But Zoe's getting a little more investigatory on her own. Very, very sweet, docile girl. Timid for loud noises. She has been ever since I got her. She lived in the house with kids when she was fostered, so I don't know if there was a lot of noise there and that made her sensitive or what. But there's a close up on that uh, shiny, fluffy bum of hers. Of course, they always want the grass that's outside the... Where are you? Outside the runabout. There she runs along the edge. Being prey animals, they have a tendency to stick to the edges or the corners, which makes sense because they're less out in the open. Okay, I'm not doing a lot of running and playing. That probably comes later. They did a little bit before. Making some noises, sweetie. She's hard to keep up with when she starts running. Hard for her to run. This, gr this grass is long on purpose so that they have good grass to eat in. And we don't treat it with anything or even mow it with a uh, regular lawnmower. But, uh, oh, see, that music got her, got her running to hide. She didn't like that at all. We're, oh, hey, when she gets frightened, she goes to uh, Amelia and gets sassy. We're a ways away from the road. This grass isn't near where all the exhaust is, because that would not be good. We don't have a terribly busy road. It just seems that the cars that go by are super noisy. Zoe's actually, I can't see in the sun, she's actually on the recline. She's laying down eating. And little one likes to be in her face. She was like hiding under her before. I call her little one, tiny Tribble, Scooter, <laughs> Poppy, Emmy. And sometimes I actually use her name Amelia. There's a hornet in there. I have to make sure it doesn't get them. Alright. 